So what is it that keeps fans coming back to stadiums year after year, staying loyal to their favorite teams, attending events in person? It's more than just the game. It's all about the experience. And from bringing the NBA European style fan sections to finding new ways to tailgate and watch the game, sports teams are literally reinventing what it's like to consume sports. Welcome to FOS Explains. Today, we're taking a look at how teams like the Los Angeles Clippers are using technology, design, and innovation to completely transform the fan experience. Welcome to The Wall, 51 rows dedicated to die-hard LA Clippers fans at the Intuit Dome. Now, the point here is to create a home court advantage, but in reality, it's also bringing the fans closer together. The wall makes up the entire area behind the away team's basket in the Clippers' $2 billion arena. But the real eye catcher is the 300 person standing room only supporter section. This isn't just any part of the stadium, it's a designated space for the most passionate fans. Soccer teams in Europe have used similar sections for years, where fans chant, wave flags, and organize events to build excitement before and after games. And the Clippers say the wall was actually inspired directly by Dortmund's famous yellow wall. The Clippers supporter section feels a lot like a student section in college sports. The organized chants, boos, and distractions during free throws are meant to give the Clips a home court advantage they can actually feel and visiting players say they notice the difference. To make sure it's just Clippers fans, people sitting here are literally banned from as much as cheering for the away team, let alone repping their jersey or colors. And they have to get Chuckmark certified, meaning verify your Clippers fandom online just to be able to buy a ticket. These kinds of areas give fans a sense of belonging, making them feel like a part of the game and even a community bigger than the game itself. Tailgates have been around forever. Fans packing the parking lot with grills, coolers, tents, music, and all that good stuff. The teams like the Las Vegas Raiders are reimagining that tailgate experience. A few years ago, the team opened up a free tailgate zone where they encourage fans who don't even have a ticket to come play games, eat, drink, and watch the early games on a massive LED screen. And in 2024, they asked themselves, what could a premium tailgate look like? So they came up with this, a two-story air-conditioned party shack. Each of Allegiant Stadium's four shacks fit 20 people and are all inclusive. They come with food, drink, tailgate games like cornhole, a 55-inch 4K TV for fans to watch the early slate of games, a 208-square-foot top deck, Bluetooth speakers, and a retractable awning for shade. The kicker is the 20K price tag though. Now, obviously not everyone can afford that, but the Raiders claim they already have the best tailgating fan base in the NFL and say that private tailgating suites are something more fans are asking for. They want the pregame to feel like a festival, and that festival environment is something that other teams like the Carolina Hurricanes and Northwestern Wildcats are incorporating into their stadiums. The whole point of these tailgate villages is to give fans a fun, engaging experience even before they enter the stadium. And whether it's a traditional tailgate experience or an outdoor party atmosphere, teams like the Raiders are creating options for every type of fan. Fan villages are another growing trend in sports. Think of something like the Battery at the Atlanta Braves Stadium. These are huge areas outside the stadium where fans can eat, drink, shop, and hang out. It's almost like a theme park centered entirely around the team and the game. These villages are designed to build excitement so that by the time fans enter the stadium, they're already energized and ready to cheer their squad on. Teams are making game days an all-day event for fans, filled with things for them to go do. SoFi Stadium has a fan village. The home of the LA Rams and Chargers features live music, tons of food options, and stages where players and former legends pre-game the upcoming game. But these sorts of villages can also become a year-round destination. The Clippers made a plaza with a public basketball court outside the Intuit Dome so that fans can come and play pickup basketball before games or whenever they want. Clubs are also incorporating interactive technology to enhance the game day experience. Apps guide fans to the best food spots and have entertainment schedules and live traffic updates. So why are teams investing in these game day experiences though? They know that by enhancing the pre-game atmosphere, they're building stronger connections with fans. A full day experience with food, entertainment, and activities creates lasting memories and generates loyalty hopefully making fans want to come back. These tailgating zones accommodate every type of fan. From traditional setups to gourmet meals and relaxing lounges, teams are creating experiences that cater to different preferences, ensuring everyone feels welcome and excited. 
But outside the stadium, technology is helping fans get closer to the game than ever before, even when they're miles away. One of the most exciting developments for sports fans is VR and AR technology. The idea is to be able to use this tech to feel like you're in the action, even when you're miles away. And you may not realize it, but teams, leagues, and tech companies are already in the early stages of implementing it. Take the Cosm, for example. It's essentially a big dome-shaped movie theater of sorts that uses the latest 360 camera technology. It lets you and a bunch of fellow fans watch the biggest sporting events from the coolest first-person perspectives. I'm talking front row, court side, right behind home plate, or even inside the octagon. There's already two Cosm locations open in the US, and the company hopes to open 10 locations by 2026 and 50 by 2034. But then there's things like the Apple Vision Pro, which developers are creating features to enhance sports fans' viewing experience at home, like multiple interactive screens, plus 3D-looking stats, live odds, and replays. These technologies aren't just about keeping fans entertained, they also help teams grow their fan base beyond the ones at the game. Fans who live far away or can't make it to the games can still feel connected and engaged. It's a way for teams to bring the excitement of the stadium into fans' living rooms regardless of distance. The potential here is endless. We're talking virtual meet and greets with your favorite players, virtual watch parties, you name it. As VR and AR tech continues to advance, fans can expect even more ways to interact with their favorite teams and players. This innovation paves the way for the future of fan experience, making it increasingly immersive and connected. Sports franchises and stadium developers constantly innovate to ensure the in-stadium experience is as engaging as possible. On the luxury end, that's meant teams like the Arizona Cardinals creating field-level luxury casitas in 2024. These 26 to $40,000 suites are basically mini two-story apartments behind the end zone. They come with 20 tickets with seats on the balcony and the grass, a food and drink package, and a TV inside. But then there seems like the Clippers who invested in putting new tech into every single seat. Everyone in the Intuit Dome has a USB-C port in their seat to charge their phone. Every seat also has microphones so that the loudest fans and sections can get rewards and an LED light. This helps create those same cool animations that you see at concerts with those light up wristbands. My favorite part of the seats though were the four buttons on every seat. They're essentially a video game controller to participate in trivia and other games that pop up on the Halo board. These are fun ways to help build community during games. When a player is eliminated from their game, their light turns off. So then, you start to see fans cheering on the people around them to win. Intuit Dome and newer stadiums also have seriously fast Wi-Fi. This means posting photos or videos, messaging your friends, or even looking up stats is easier than ever. I was able to share this video for our TikTok in less than a minute while sitting in the wall. That means the Wi-Fi in row 11 of the Intuit Dome was just as fast as my studio. Then, of course, there's the video board itself. The Halo board at the Intuit Dome is the NBA's most impressive video board. It's a unique, double-sided video scoreboard that does more than just show the score. It keeps fans engaged with multiple replay angles at once, creative animations to show player stats, and even those crowd interactions. The board allows fans to participate in various games and challenges using the tech inside their seats. For example, it can measure the crowd noise levels, awarding prizes to the loudest sections, giving fans a direct influence on the game day atmosphere. It also has t-shirt cannons inside, so that fans in the higher rows don't miss out like they do at most stadiums. This level of interactivity is becoming a norm. Other stadiums like SoFi Stadium feature massive video boards that wrap around the stadium with high definition displays and real time stats. The goal is to provide an experience at live games that exceeds what viewers could get at home. New venues like the Intuit Dome are a great example of what the future of stadiums could look like. It already has contact-free entry using facial recognition instead of scanning your ticket. And scanning your face and adding your credit card into the Intuit Dome app means you also pay for food and merch with your face too. The whole point is to cut down on lines and make it easier and faster for fans to get back to their seats. At the Clippers' new arena, that means there's no line to wait for a cash register or wait for food. You scan your face at these basketballs, and when it opens the door, you grab whatever you want and walk right out. Then it charges your card on file. 
They're also testing out different AR features. Intuit Dome has an LED screen where you scan your face and it tells you how to get to your seat. But you, the one who scanned your face, are the only one who can see it. Everybody else sees their name and their seat info. As technology evolves, fans can expect even more seamless, interactive, personalized experiences like these at games. It's only a matter of time before this gets integrated into in-game elements, like fans being able to interact with stats popping out of the scoreboard. Now, that's just my imagination, but the point is that teams are using technology to make the in-arena experience as seamless and as entertaining as possible, keeping fans engaged from the moment they enter the arena until after the game is over. But what do you think about these changes? Are games perfect as is, or are there ways we can still get better? Let us know your thoughts in the comments, and make sure to like and subscribe for more on the business of sports.